What is good guys, we are back with game 2 between a ton and um, Dragon. Uh, so this time Eton brings a team that he made with his friend Thori. Uh, it's Megalady with Ice Beam, HP Fire, Draco, Recover. Standard Thorothorn, Spikes, Leech, Heat, Power, Knock of Spadef. Then it's Scarfta with I think Earthquake, Stone Edge, Crunch, Pursuit. Spadef by Upper Packs with Toxic Haze, Recover, Scald. Um, Call Mind Rocks, Clefable. And then the Glithcore, there's two variants of this team. It's either the Taunt, Knock of Ruth, Earthquake or the Facade, Earthquake. SD Roost variant, I think. Um, Dragon makes this team, I think, that Gonra used in SPL Finals. Mawa is a big threat, uh, but obviously um, Dragon doesn't want to stay in here turn 1 and risk getting burned. So I assume we see a switch um, into either Torn or Clef. As he turn can just go for Skull. Um, because Mawa was a big threat for him, so in case um, Dragon wants to stay in, I understand the Skull play. So um, Dragon is probably going to get up his rocks. Yep. Eternum can get up his rocks now. Like I said, this is a CM Rocks Clefable. On um, Dragon's side, since the um, the Heatran doesn't have rocks, that means the Heatran could be um, Toxic Map and Storm of Power Taunt. So let's go in the first one, expecting um, the Thunder Punch there. Good scout. Uh, I guess the player of all the Thunder Punch. And now he pivots into Pex uh, scouting for the fire move, I assume. The thing is, um, now I'm drinking go for Thunder Punch, so Eternum does pivot into Gliscor, predicting the, the Thunder Punch. Mm -hmm. The thing is, um, Gliscor doesn't Oko more well from this range with Earthquake, so I don't know if this is the play for Eternum. And um, Dragon does show Ice Punch and is able to knock out the Gliscor. I think, I think this was a trade um, that was worth it for Amdrain um, because the Gliscor was preventing the Hedron from doing work, and the Gliscor just annoyed Amdrain's um, entire team. Uh, the thing is, I don't know what Eternum could have done differently, um, because the Maul was such a big threat to his team. Like he could have, uh, obviously Pax would have be a been able to live one hit and then tr maybe tried to burn it, but if he doesn't get the burn then he's in a tough spot and his Pax is low. So like, I'm not really sure what he could have done. Now I think I'm dragging, um, can either go Heatran, uh, it's probably the best play. He could also go to... Like, he can do whatever he wants here pretty much, he knows that Heatran is locked into Pursuit, but Heatran puts like the most offensive pressure on Eternum's team. Uh, with Glisco being down, he doesn't have an answer for Heatran. So yeah, Heatran comes out and Heatran can just click Magma Storm. I guess Toxic is an option as well. Like, Eternum can go Ladi, but unless he changed the set to Surf, the Ladi can't touch the Heatran because it's Ice Beam, Draco, HP Fire and Recover. Um, so like, if he goes Pex, he has to hope that the Heatran misses Magma Storm, which is not a counter. Yeah, Magma Storm or Toxic, whatever I'm Dragon wants to do here. Um, yeah, since he had rocks on Clef, he just gets another move slot, so it can run Toxic, Taunt of Paul, Magma Storm. So Ladi comes out on a Toxic. Now the thing is, I guess he has to go back into Tita unless he changed the Ladi to Surf. Um, Dragon can go into his Gastrion or his Clefable here um, to scout for the Surf and in case he has Surf. But yeah, I'm Dragon. Not I'm Dragon. Eternum goes into Tita because he doesn't have a move on the Ladi to hit the Heatran with. I'm Dragon just plays it safe and goes to Clef. Uh, Moonblast the Tita, which is a fine play. Now Eternum can either go for a knockoff or get up a spike here. I assume he gets up a spike. Yep. And now he's back at not having good Heatran answers, so he has to go Tita, which is like his only play because it resists Magma Storm. Magma Storm is free for I'm Dragon. And yeah, the Tita is gonna get chipped and it just can't keep switching into the Heatran. Um, especially with rocks up, the next time it's gonna die. So I assume we see a Stone Edge come out here. We see an Earthquake. So yeah, he just tried to catch M Dragon on a choke, I guess. He didn't. Really, he doesn't. He cannot really win this game unless M Dragon misplays at this point. Uh, after Glisco went down, Heatran just puts too much work in. Puts in too much work. So Gastron comes out. Um, it, I guess he turned can Toxic this because Earthquake doesn't do that much. Yeah, we see the packs is faster because Gastron runs uh, minus. Minus speed. I'm dragging Skulls there to get the burn and in case Eternum wanted to go into his Ferrothorn, I guess. Or, yeah, yeah, into his Ferrothorn. He keeps Scalding and Eternum also Scalds, um, probably predicting I'm dragging to switch on the Toxic into Heatran. Yeah, I assume he just Eternum just Scalds to try and catch his opponent on the hard Heatran because he can't beat the Heatran. So he has to hope that he goes hard into it on a, like, Makes like a misplay, I would say. Like going hard, Heatran might be a misplay, I would say, yeah. So he finally gets the Toxic off. And Dragon keeps scalding, they're trying to catch the Feral Thorn. And I guess Eternum is gonna spam Recover here, and the Toxic is gonna rack up. So yeah, and Dragon is forced out. Now the Torn here can go for Knock Off Defog. Goes for Knock Off, and we see it's Payapa, exactly. That's, like I said, I have this team in my build, it's like, um, I've, I've been had this team, like I knew all the sets beforehand, but this pretty much confirms that he didn't change it. I mean, we saw no black slash the entire time, so it's pretty obvious that it's Payaba. So he's dodging um, the Hurricanes here. Like, this is all nice, and 
Like, I don't know how to put this in, in words, but it pretty much doesn't matter that he misses Madden Storm here. Because whenever the Heatran comes back and it pretty much claims a kill, because Tita can't switch in anymore. Um, yeah, I was trying to check how many PPs on Recover are left on PEX, but it didn't show me. <laughs> so yeah, it's Wish Clefable, so he changed the set. Um, it's Wish instead of CM, so it's uh, Magic God. You can Wish Pass into the Megalati, and that's actually cool, I like that. You used that a few times in SPL, and I think... Was it BKC who used the Brofist team with that set as well? That set, that team is in Sample Teams now, if you guys want to have that team. Uh, just check out Sample Teams on the forums, it has a Wish Clefable, and you also posted some of his teams. Some people think it's like an unset Wish Magical Clef, but I think it's pretty cool, especially if you have wards like Venusaur and Celesteela in the back that don't have reliable recovery. Like Venusaur only has 8 synthesis PP, so it can be really helpful to have Wish Path. But yeah, so what we see here is um, M Dragon also has Wish on his Clefable and passes into the Landris. I'm not sure if this is if he's just gonna U turn out here, um, or he wants to Earthquake to weaken the Pharaoh. So we see a Leech Sheet. Um, I think that's a misplay spiking. Maybe he predicted a defog there. Um, I think he definitely should have leech sheet the turn before, not this turn. He leech sheeted one turn too late. Because uh, now his Ferrothorn is super low. And M Dragon can just U turn into his Clefable here to um, exactly prevent the double leech sheet. So that way Eternum doesn't get more leech sheet recovery back. And as soon as we see the last spike go up, I mean, M Dragon can just defog later with his Torn Orlando, whichever has defog. I assume Torn has defog. So, um, I mean. Pex Clef is just like a stall war, they don't really hit each other, and with Pex being burned and not having Black Sludge, it's kind of bad for Eternum. So he scores there, um, and Dragon can defog now if he wants to, I can just U-turn. He does defog, I assume we see the Recover come out from the Pex. Now um, Dragon can U-turn into his Clefable or Gastrodon, um, probably Clefable, it doesn't really matter though. And yeah, he's just gonna, um, he's gonna be able to get his rocks back up here, that's probably his best play. Eternum should switch out and also get his rocks, right? So the, he does just do that, I assume, as the Heatron is in, and now it's pretty much time, and the game should end as long as M Dragon can hit his Magma Storms. He hits the first. The price he didn't go for Taunt. Um, I guess in case uh, Eternum tried to go hard into Heatran, he just went for Magma Storm instead of Taunt, which is understandable. So um, now eventually he's gonna uh, have to taunt the clef so that he can't wish and softbolt all the time, uh, which is pretty much his best play. And yeah, the clefable is trapped in by Magma Storm, so it obviously can't switch out. I know I've made the mistake before in videos where I say that clefable should switch out, and it was trapped in by Magma Storm. Uh, because I forgot, since Clef has Magic Guard, you don't see the secondary after effect for Magma Storm, that it was trapped in, I think it was in Cory versus Nihil Lily I made that mistake, and I also made it in some other EO game. But uh, yeah, that's just when I'm tired and don't pay attention. Now I'm paying attention, and obviously I knew the Clef was trapped in. And yeah, now, I guess Tita has to come out, and yeah, you guys can see that Trend pretty much destroys Eternum's team, and the Pex is eventually also gonna run out of recover, and it can't even do much. Like, he can... PP stole the packs if M Dragon really wanted to. Um, if he like, let's say he runs out of Magma Storm with the Tran or something. But yeah, Earthquake does a lot to the Gastron even from Scarf Tuck, because Gastron runs Spadev. So he goes into his uh, packs here. Yeah, his um, Ferrothorn was pretty much too low to switch it. And then yeah, he realizes he can't win. So I assume Eternum just forfeits here. Because yeah, the Pex is eventually gonna run out of recover. Whenever the Heatron comes in again, it gets a kill. And Eternum doesn't have anything that puts offensive pressure on M Dragon's team. So I'm gonna be back later with game 3. I thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned for game 3, which is gonna decide who moves on um, to the next round, which is the top 16 of OST. I hope Eternum moves on, but we will see.